Let's click in the top right hand corner on our user profile and settings. You can change the layout of how your team's environment looks. You can choose default, dark mode or high contrast, or you can choose how you would like the layout to look, either grid or list. There are even some language options available to you if you need to change the language within Teams. Click over on privacy to manage your privacy settings. Under notifications, you can decide what notifications and bell alerts you will receive in the activity section of the Me app bar. You might want to turn some of these on or off depending on how many notifications you'd like to receive in a day. Under devices, you have the options for speaker and microphone. You can see what speaker you're using and also what microphone. If you'd like to change this, simply expand the arrow and choose a different device. If I have my camera turned on, I can see what I'm going to look like within a Teams meeting. You can even make a test call so that you can see and hear what attendees of your Teams meeting will see and hear on their end. Simply click make a test call. Test your call quality, record a short message after the beep. Your message will then be played back to you. This is a test call. Can you see and hear me properly? This is a test call. Can you see and hear me properly? You can see when the test call plays back that my audio quality was not very good and this would be something I would have to fix up before I conducted a Teams meeting with other people. Within a test call, you have options to turn your camera off, mute your audio and hang up when finished.